Hey everyone. So I got a lot of requests from students asking me to make a video on subject wise books for GPAT and NIPER. So there are basically five main subjects in the syllabus of GPAT and NIPER and these are as follows. Pharmacology, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Pharmaceutics, Pharmaceutical Analysis and Pharmacognosy. So you need to have at least one basic book in which you can study these five topics. So let's begin. I have provided the links of all the books in the description for your convenience. So let's begin. For pharmacology, I think the best book to have would be KD Triparthi without a doubt because it has all the basics in the most simple language and it is a necessity. Even if you have a PDF but uh, turning so many pages and reading so many pages in a PDF is not really practical. In that way you can read a few chapters but not the entire book and for pharmacology you really need to build your basics. It is optional to buy Rangendale as it has more detailed stuff but uh, you should read it in the PDF form at least if you don't have that book. So the next is pharmaceutical chemistry. In pharmaceutical chemistry the two most important topics that we have are organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry. For organic chemistry, I think Behel and Behel have explained it the most simply. It contains almost all the topics and in simple words. So that way you can learn name reactions. For medicinal chemistry, it is good to have Wilson and Gisbold. It has everything in details. And it will be really good if you can study pharmacology and medicinal chemistry together because all the topics are almost same. So now for uh, pharmacognosy, I think CK Kokate is the best one. And it is a must have book. Like it will help you in your bachelors and throughout all the drug names, everything is given there. So it is a must have book and I think a PDF of that book is not even available that easily and you can read Tris and events for pharmacognosy but it contains more details and it does not really contain all the topics. So next we have pharmaceutical analysis. For pharmaceutical analysis we have spectroscopy, chromatography and various other things. So for spectroscopy, I think Vaya Sharma explains it the most simply and covers everything. So if you want to buy one book for spectroscopy, go for Vaya Sharma. Then for uh, chromatography and various other assays and titrations, I think Chartwell is the best. The language is really simple for uh, even a layman can understand it. And it will help you build your habit of reading. Then, then for pharmaceutics, we have Lieberman and Lachman. It basically contains tablets, capsules, explained in details. And these are the most important topics. For jurisprudence, you can just read jurisprudence from any book. Like Pearson, even your notes. So like learning jurisprudence in depth is not required and for cosmetics too you can just refer any competitive exam book but for tablets you need to study it in detail since most questions are asked from that topic. Now it will be really good if you can study clinical pharmacy as it contains um, all the case studies, adverse drug reactions and it can really help you solve case studies in pharmacology. So a really good book for that has to be Remington. Now for microbiology, I think NK Gen is the best. It has explained everything simply again. 
it contains diseases and microbiological assays then for biotechnology satyanarayan is the best and uh, for biochemistry too now if you want to opt for a masters degree in biotechnology then i must tell you that you should really build your base in the subject it is not really that necessary for the exams but it will really help you once you start your masters degree so now there are various combos of books for first year b pharma students i will provide the links of all these books you can check them out if you need all of those these contain books of anatomy and physiology then organic chemistry engineering now for pharmaceutical engineering i think cvs subramaniam is the best unit operations by him part 1 and part 2 both these two books you must have so these books that i mentioned uh, i have personally studied from all these books and these are the best in the game and these are really easy to understand so i think these books are a must have and other books you have a choice to either buy them or not but i would advise that keeping just one book for every subject is better because if you keep two or three i don't think you will find the time to read everything and if you have one you will make it a point that you at least read that one book so i feel these all basic books should be owned by most pharmacy students so thank you if you like this video do subscribe share and comment so that i am encouraged to make more such videos